Only about six out of 10 children in the Portland area ever graduate from high school. A local organization is working to change all that. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Ken Ackerman. We're joined by two guests today. Karen, thank you very much. Karen Zimmer for being here, social media and marketing director with Friends of the Children. And we have Herschel Tidwell. Herschel, you're a professional mentor, otherwise known as a friend. Correct. Friend with Friends of the Children. Karen, let me start with you. Tell me about how Friends of the Children got started. Friends of the Children was founded 21 years ago here in Portland by local entrepreneur Duncan Campbell. Mm -hmm. And Duncan grew up um, in the Northeast Portland area like a lot of the kids that we serve do. He faced a lot of challenges, um, his parents weren't really around, and he promised himself that if he made something of himself one day that he would make a difference, that he would give back. And um, Duncan tried and failed and he tried and succeeded. And he uh, paid to have research done to figure out what is the most effective way to create change in the lives of our community's most vulnerable children. And that research is what Friends of the Children uh, was founded on. And so we intervene early in kindergarten and we make a long-term commitment. Um, we stay with youth from kindergarten all the way through high school graduation. And they each have a paid professional mentor. It's their full-time job um, to spend about four hours a week with each kid to help them find their spark. Which brings us to Herschel Tidwell, mm -hmm. paid professional mentor, otherwise known as a friend. Right. What type of vetting process did you have to go through before you could become a mentor with Friends of the Children? Well, first, um, they, they look for those who has a, a college degree. Uh, and then on top of that, you have to have great experience with working with the type of youth that we will work with. Um, and then once you have those two things, then there is a number of different interviews. Uh, prior to the interviews, there's a drug test. Um, background check, uh, then after the many interviews, uh, then... They send you out with a, a child. Right, right. With someone looking over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Well, that's one of the uh, yeah. processes, uh, one of the interview processes, uh, going on an outing with one of the youth and one of the mentors to see if you're a good fit. What type of satisfaction do you get from this work? It's, it's, it's a great job. And, and a lot of times I don't even look at it as a job just because um, it's a responsibility that I'm you know, making an impact on uh, uh, the life of, of these youth in our community. And, and you uh, work with how many kids at one time? I have eight, eight youth that I work with. And do you go in the classroom? Yep, I'm, I'm in different schools during the week uh, with my little guys. I'm at their desk, you know, sitting right next to them in the classroom, um, advocating for them uh, in, the, in at the schools with the counselors, teachers, principals, mm -hmm. uh, and so we're there for the kids. How long have you been a mentor? I've been a mentor uh, close to 10 years, so it'll be 10 years next month. And, and Karen, mentors don't stop when a kid graduates from high school. I mean, the program keeps going, correct? Yeah, so we make a commitment to our youth from kindergarten through graduation, and then we provide um, scholarship services um, to the youth after um, post-graduation as well. And this started as, as a local organization with Duncan Campbell, and now it's become national. Yeah, so we um, started here, like I said, 21 years ago in Portland, and now we have chapters in Seattle, Klamath Falls, New York, Boston, and then we also have two affiliate programs, one in the UK and then one in Tampa Bay, Florida, which is um, just started this last September, and they are specifically selecting youth from the foster care system. So they have 64 youth that um, are straight out of foster care, and so um, that's go up and going strong. And and your statistics about how this program is working and changing lives. Absolutely. So 83% of our youth graduate from high school, although over 60% of their parents did not. 93% um, are avoiding the justice system, while again, well over half have a parent who has been incarcerated. And 98% are avoiding early parenting, while 85% were born to a teen parent. So what we really focus on is breaking those cycles of generational sure. poverty. Well, Karen, Herschel? Thank you very much. You're doing great work. And friends of the children, say hi to Duncan yes. from me. Right. And uh, we want to thank you for being here as well on Comcast Newsmakers. We're here at the Red Cross for the crew here at Comcast. Make it a great day, everyone.